Hi, my name is Micah Peterson, and I'm a solution specialist with Microdesk in the architecture and media and entertainment departments. This is the third video in a three-part series on the installation procedures for AutoCAD 2012. The first two videos, we went over everything here on the left. The third video, we'll be hitting just the installation on one single computer. This is the option that most users will use. Now, when I first clicked install, it immediately popped me up to this end user license agreement. And that's kind of a little trick. I already installed this, and so running it again uh, gets me a little bit quicker. Typically, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute to load this screen. But as always, you'll click on I accept and sign your life away without a thought. And then you're immediately given the option for standalone or network licensing. This is a great, uh, a great option for me. I really like the fact that it puts this right there first thing. Uh, previous versions would kind of allow you to skip over this step or would hide them in the configuration. And as a result, most people would in install as either the standalone or a network version when they really wanted the opposite. So, and with these versions, you can't just switch the network licensing to or standalone. You have to actually uninstall and reinstall. So make sure you choose the right option. In this case, we'll just do standalone for now. And you can choose a 30 day trial here or you can choose the product information. Now, it will let, let you accept all ones as the serial number, which we'll be using. However, if you have the correct serial number, make sure you input this, because this serial number is what will be used to try to activate the software do, when you're using a standalone installation. You can activate without it, but you need to call Autodesk directly and kind of circumvent the automatic activation, and that's kind of a pain. So make sure you have it. If you have the, the serial number, make sure you use it. The product key is found in your folder where you have your install files on your DVD or if you downloaded them and unzipped them. You have this mid.txt file. Now, there may be, it may be a mid01 or a mid001, depending on the software that you're using, whether it be Revit or Inventor or Civil 3D. But for AutoCAD, it's just mid.txt. And when we open up this file, we get this part number line. Now, even this is kind of confusing because it's a bunch of digits, but these first five, that's your product key. So if we copy that onto our clipboard, I'll go here and just paste it in here. And now we have our product key. It says we're good and we can go next. If we choose network licensing, it'll still use the same serial number, but technically it doesn't care what the serial number is. So it's somewhat irrelevant and we can just enter a license here to tell it what server we're looking at. I'll click next and then we have our options for what we want to install. We choose the AutoCAD 2012 options and most of these are very typical. We have our typical installation, our custom install, which lets us choose some additional options like the visual Lisp tutorials. We can also scroll down and decide what shortcuts to create as well as what service packs, if any, will be included. It will automatically search for them and will then automatically offer to include them if you would like. I would highly recommend doing this. It was a great feature that was added with 2011 and with 2012, it's even heightened because it automatically searches and it isn't buried kind of in the configuration. The next option here, design review, is already installed, but you definitely want to install that. And this third one as well. I've already installed Inventor in the background here, but Inventor Fusion allows you to take AutoCAD files within AutoCAD that are 3D and use a kind of a light version of the Inventor Engine, which is a parametric modeling solution for 3D models for mechanical modeling. You can use that to create this historical parametric model and then bring it back into AutoCAD very quickly. So I'll be going over a demo in the future and explaining more in detail about that, but it is a great feature. It doesn't really take up that much data, that much room on your hard drive, so I would definitely recommend installing it just in case you ever do any kind of 3D modeling. It's a great system, and as you'll see later, it can really help you out and make you more efficient. Once you're done, you can choose your path, and then finally, install. Hope that's been helpful. Good luck.